Oddly, as soon as I drove into RAF Perimpore, the sun disappeared and the mist and the wind came rolling in from the sea. Very eerie. The boys are standing on old mine shafts, which are very common in Cornwall, left over from when they extracted tin and copper over the centuries. All right, mud lovers, we are on our rally. We are at RAF, RAF Perimpore. Yeah. Oh, that was very succinct. It was, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. very good. So we're about to go metal detecting. Uh, we're here on the Friday. We're just having a look around. Beautiful scenic areas. Behind you, we've got an amazing Spitfire pen. And the whole land around here, we must have about, I don't know, 100 odd acres that we can go metal detecting on. And uh, yeah, we can't wait to get going. We've got about 40 or so eager detectorists, including the gorgeous man holding the camera, Nick. You should, you'll see him later on. He's very, he's very <laughs> sexy, I'll give you that. He's very good, yeah. So what do you think we'll find, Steve? Um, bullets. <laughs> Hopefully, lots so of them. Yeah, there, there, there's all sorts here. There's, there's a medieval chapel that was on the site. Yeah, yeah there's some good history here. There's right? a lot of history here, That's more it. than you'd expect. Yeah, and then on top of that, yeah, all the World War II stuff. So, and then, um, yeah, have a look down there. Yeah. Look at that. This is beautiful. This is uh, we're, we're literally detecting on the edge of the world. Well, <laughs> the edge of Cornwall, anyway. And this is our gorgeous cameraman, Nick. And he has got an awesome YouTube channel as well. And that's his crew. They go down shafts and find all sorts of goodies and explore. So uh, yeah, go and check out his channel. And I will as well, because I didn't even know it existed until he told me about it. Not my channel, but one, one Oh yeah, you're channel. part of the crew then, you're part of the crew. But yeah, you, you got it on your back as well, look, yeah. Carver's great crew, Cornwall. So uh, yeah, Nick's, uh, Nick's got some experience in these areas as well. So hopefully uh, we'll get a good few finds up today, I reckon. What do you reckon, Nick? Sounds good, yeah? Sounds good to me. <laughs> Wicked. Wow. So I've got a spit by this side, and I've one the other side, and all the crew are out in here. Cool. Let's get some luck in the mark. <laughs> <laughs> Morning, Steve. Morning. 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 <laughs> this is the Misty Campsite Morning, on day one. Still got a few arrivals to come yet. So uh, we're going to show you quickly an alternative way to dry one's hair. Not me. <laughs> <laughs> right, this is Beth and she's got wet hair. She also has a problem whereby she's got no hair dryer plug to work at the moment. So Steve come up with an ingenious idea. We've got the world's biggest hair dryer just sitting there. How do I need to just stand behind. Is it going to literally knock me off my feet? Hopefully. Stand back a little bit more. That's perfect. All right, this is how you dry your hair when you're out on a detecting rally with us. <laughs> if it starts. <laughs> I feel like I need some goggles. <laughs> no goggles. No. Just shut your eyes. Everyone's looking at me. Brace the position, Beth. The comb at the ready. <laughs> 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 wait for it, wait So now your uh, now your hair now your hair smells of uh, exhaust fun. fumes and <laughs> fire. Exactly. Am I highly flammable now? I yeah. yeah. RAF Perrinporth was built for daytime Spitfire fighters, supporting the main fighter base RAF Portreath, a few miles away. In 1941, 165 acres of farmland was quickly levelled as local tradesmen used old rocks from the tin mines that still lie underneath as foundations for the runways. Handy, eh? The 66 Squadron were the first crew to fly out and by the end of the war a further 18 squadrons had used this base and included British, Czech, Polish and French personnel. There are many stories about the airfield in this fabulous book written by F.R. Andrew, too many to mention in this video. 
Sadly, some that ended in the brave pilots losing their lives at sea shortly after taking off, and some crashing on their return, usually due to engine failure, bad weather such as wind and fog, or enemy damage. The site was also used to test the Spitfire guns and also repair the damaged planes. One diary account recorded that the wind was so bad that the planes would blow about while stationary, and then whilst taxiing the planes to the runway before takeoff, several men had to hang off the tail fin in order to keep it upright. With all that history at our fingertips, I'm sure we'll find a few relics from the former RAF airbase. So here we are, live, in the car. On our new camera, DJI Action 2. On our first metal detecting rally. Uh, we've got the comforts of sitting in the car, watching everyone else. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it is a bit windy yeah. and rainy, so... Um... But I want to get out there, I want to do some sets myself. How you getting on? Anything. That's all right. It's a... it has. At least we're showing me how to do it. <laughs> oh, that's it. That's what we like here. We're showing the newbies how to work their machines. Are you getting signals, though? I'm getting signals, yeah. Where's your spade? In my bag. Yeah, but... trial. I didn't bring my spade because I wasn't expecting to find anything. Oh, <laughs> well, uh. <laughs> Don't put that on YouTube. Did... Oh, cool. That'll be my find for the weekend. Yeah, Harley's jam. <laughs> there we go. That's pretty cool. Oh, man. Nick's had his first find up. Yeah, that's a cufflink. That's a stunner. That's, that looks like it's silver as well. Yeah, I think it is. That's oh awesome. man, that's yeah. fine of the day. So far, I've only been out five minutes. Well done, Nick. I think it's RF. It's yeah, that's that's the flight. That's the wings, definitely. Yeah. Let's have a closer look at that. It is, yeah. Oh yeah, RAF in the middle wings. Yeah, I think that is silver as well. You know, looks it, doesn't it? It does, yeah. Is it hallmark? Yeah, I think it is. Look. Yeah, silver. The word silver written on it. <coughs> oh man, that's a pucker fine. What on Nick? Did he give a good signal? Yeah, because it, I mean, it's only literally it's no more than about an inch down. Oh, that's good news. Oh man, I bet you well chuffed, didn't you? Yeah, it's quite a nice little piece, that. Yeah. That's perfect. Look at that. That bodes well. Good job it wasn't super deep. How was, how was digging? Was it like, was it? Uh, Some places it's not bit hard. bad. Other yeah. places, uh, they, you've got the, um, like the shady stuff underneath. So. Yeah. But at the same, same time, nothing's been. Much yeah. deeper than a couple of inches, even on the on the, yeah, on the ground and stuff, because the shale's underneath, so nothing's going down. Yeah. Day, so. Well done. Boom. This is our next victim. Who's this one? <laughs> You're on camera. Oh, cool. What have we had? Anything? Uh, coin. Yeah. I haven't even uncovered it properly yet. Oh, you have a coin. I'm, I'm guessing far then. Yeah. That's what I was thinking when I looked at it. I wonder what age it would be. Probably what well, I'm guessing it's going to be. It was quite deep. Oh, was it? Yeah. So look. There we go. It's got the head now. The first coin that we've seen. Oh, yeah, it's George the uh, Fifth, I think. Oh, good, oh. George Fifth far then? Yeah. Nice. I'll get a date on that. I won't show you my penny on I think it's 1918. Oh, lovely. Yeah, it's, nice well, it's got 18 on it, so it's got to be 1918. Yeah, yeah, it's not going to be 18 something. <laughs> nah, there we go. First coin of the rally. Goes to Andy. Thank you very much. And his first token as well. Oh, He's yeah. had that up. Can, can I just see that, the token? There we go. He's found a little love token. <laughs> my love <laughs> token. <laughs> that means you get first uh, first choice of the wonderful prizes. Oh, that's brilliant. So Andy gets a choice of the prizes uh, supplied by LP Mel Detective. <laughs> what up, mate? What's wrong with the lovely Mel? She's just turned up, doing some detecting, as you do, because it's detecting rally. <laughs> and she's found the biggest whopping lead weight that I've ever seen. Look at that. What a beauty. So we're not sure on the age of that, you know, whether it's, it's probably three days water time, I reckon that, that might even be Yeah, it's pretty old. Yeah, it was well, about two pounds of weight though, isn't it? Yeah. And you said it gave a banging signal, right? Yeah. <laughs> I was very, surprised. very pleased. I bet you are. Yeah. And that'll weigh down your fire's pouch, won't it? Yeah. <laughs> we'll take it off now. <laughs> we can always leave it in Steve's truck for later. <laughs> well, well done, Mel. Thanks, Sai. Si. <laughs> well, well, Holly's just found something. I found something! Yay! <laughs> Oh, that's perfect. I know. Oh, you're the second person to find a token. How you get on, guys? Am I allowed to keep 
Having fun? Any time there you go, Pete. Pete's found his first 303. And they're going to be probably plenty more of these. Yeah. And you found a little furniture polish lid as well, didn't you? Where's yeah. that? Where's that? <laughs> Because you know, guys were out here stationed, they'd have been polishing boots and all the rest of it, and maybe, maybe sort of furniture. There we go. Bradford? Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's, it's furniture cream. Stevenson's. They made ink as well. You know that? Stevenson's ink. You probably know that. Cool. Well, that's a nice little relic. Still smashed out the bottle, look. Yeah. Wicked. There was a glass in there, though. <laughs> no. Well, Nick's having a blinding day. It's getting a bit windy now, but. Look at this. Check out what Nick's just found. Oh, nice. Nice barrel tap. That is a lovely barrel tap. So that would have been put in the side of a barrel, then you uh, got your got your drink out of that. Yeah, would have had a little handle there at some yeah, point, I imagine. Yeah, on the top. What age do you reckon that is then? I don't know, really. I'm not... I don't think it's particularly early, but... No, it could be Victorian, couldn't yeah. it? Or maybe, maybe, it is a, maybe it is World War II. Yeah. But these little grooves there would have helped it stay within its barrel, right? Yeah. And so we've got, we've got a bit of purchase. Yeah, and then obviously And then that. you'd have had a nice little drink of ale. And that point is obviously, I would imagine, is what they probably used to knock it in. Yeah, but. knock it in from there. That's a good little find, that. Yeah. It's the first one of those I've had, apart from like normal small, yeah. small barrels out. So I'm quite pleased with that. Cool. Have you got a good signal? There's still a big signal in the ground here. Is there? So this is how Steve does his uh, detecting these days. He sits in the van and watches other people. Oh, that's it? <laughs> yeah, it's the top bit. Must have sat on there, I think. Yeah, that's cool. I got the top part of that. Yeah. But there is another signal there as well. Oh, so that might be the other part of it. Cool. <laughs> Uh, yeah, a bit with you out today, but uh, not too bad actually. It's quite warm, it's quite enjoyable, quite quite brisking, brisk weather. <laughs> uh, anyway, I've had my first signal. It's a little 303 coming and take a look. Yeah, well, first little signal. Don't mind that. Got my first relic. It's probably got a date on there as well. Nice one. So there you go, guys. Look, 1940. I like anything with the date on, even if it is a simple 303. But it's, it was found here at RF Perrinpore, so I'm happy with that. Oh, work here. So we've had a little spoon up as well. There we go. Just about seeing oh, yeah. the road there. Yeah, 1942. Yeah, not bad. That's cold, eh? Let's have a look at that. A little teaspoon. Nick. And. Complete as well. Yeah. Little broad arrow on it. Yeah. I like that. Wheel. Who's Will? This is Will. <laughs> this is Will. <laughs> That's probably a caster off a chair. Yeah, yeah, that's nice. That's solid. Oh, we got the third winner of the token. Third. Yeah, you're oh, the third. I was gonna be the first. No, you yeah, got the third. Let's have a little look then. There we go. He's got his token. Fantastic. So there you go. You're the third prize winner. Oh, you got a uh, tower one as well. That's a tower. Oh, tower, tower, tower London. Yeah, uh, tower bridge. Oh, yeah. tower bridge. There we go. Excellent. Yeah, look. So uh, if uh, you look at it, that way around it. Oh yeah. Tower bridge, and then a boat. And a little bit of uh, river, and then there's me on the foreshore. <laughs> <laughs> Congrats, man! Thanks, You're doing well. Man. Thank you very much. Here's your spoon as well. Cheers. Oh, keep going, man. Get some more luck. Hey, here's Carly. Here's the security guard doing her job, <laughs> making sure we're all behaving. Official. <laughs> <laughs> Show us your wristbands. Show us your wristbands. Is that all right? <laughs> guys well i'm with the one and only paddy detects hello everyone how's everyone doing <laughs> if you haven't checked out his youtube channel go and check it out because he's finding some awesome stuff and he's doing pretty well today as well he's yeah, got some nice bits. yeah nice these are these are spitfire rounds 
Be 90 for is, but uh, yeah, it's good fun, man. Well okay. done. Thanks so much. <laughs> See you in a bit, guys. Cool stuff. You're not getting away with it. <laughs> what do you mean? You found a car, you found a silver coin, did you? Oh, oh man, look at that. That's a view. Now, what date is that? So 1990 was full silver. Yeah, but still, lovely. Paddy knows his stuff. Look at him. He's a wealth of knowledge. Yeah, that's a lovely coin, man. Look at that. It's a great nick as well. Yeah. Glad you didn't chip it with a spade. That's, that's a big. Uh, Done yeah. that before. <laughs> so have I. I think we all have. That's a lovely bit of silver, though. I, I just love the designs on these as well. Yeah, so, the old designs on them. They are, and it's a nice chunky, chunky bit. Of Fifty percent silver, but I'll take that. Well done, mate. Right. And then I've. One of your coins. Oh, you got another token! Yeah. Well, hey, number four, the fourth token fourth of the weekend. Up. Yeah, well done, mate, so you get a prize. Oh, you've got those buttons as well. Were they on the same hole? Uh, two holes about a metre apart down there. All right, so you reckon past the red band. it was probably someone's shirt or something got yeah. dropped and then all the buttons fell out. Oh, wicked. Yeah, that's really cool. Oh, it's great to see the finds come up. Yeah. Yeah, if you find anything else, let us know. Yep, yeah, will do. Get some luck in the muck. Well, just catching up with Andy, and he's found a nice horse, bar horse brass. Or horse, was it a boss? Yeah. Boss, yeah. Uh, right near where they were mining. So maybe these belong to the old horses that were pulling up all the ore in all the mine shafts around here. Yeah, very pretty. <laughs> just like one of Madonna's boobies. <laughs> <laughs> So later on in the year, all this will be uh, cropped, all this wheat or barley, and we can come and detect again. There's loads more land to try here. So this is a bunker, heavily disguised with grass. Nathan's just over there detecting. We're going to have a little look inside. Cool, that is tight. Whoa. Room for one more. Yeah, come in, come in. Hello. Oh, we've got a visitor. Can you, can you, knock can you tell anyone who he is yet? He's supposed to knock before you come in. I did, I said hello. Can I come in? <laughs> it helps you for about three foot nothing in here, doesn't it? Whoa. You can stand up once you get in here. A bit of trouble with this window here. Well, it wouldn't have been a... Pillbox or something, I suppose, yeah, but you don't, you couldn't really shoot that, have you, could you? Not really. Oh. Well, I imagine the grass would be this high, would it? It must have been a line of sight, hey, otherwise, what's the point? Unless it's a artillery, it's like a flat roof on it. Show a little detecting here. Yeah, not a bad, not a bad shout. Who do you think? Under your feet. No, oh. uh, Mummy's hoovering. <laughs> What have we got there, so I'm in a two-way repeatable? Absolutely. What's that? It's there, look, that's it. I can literally see, what's that? Look. Oh, yeah. There you go, look. An actual 303 from a bunker. There you go, look. Fired from the bunker, the 303. Pretty so cool. cool. We condition it, it's like someone's uh, probably pissed on it. <laughs> <laughs> Five piece? Wow. <laughs> Old five piece? <laughs> no new five piece. What's the date on them? What date have we got? We've got 2008. <laughs> Still treasure. Random. What's that one? So when it's touched, you can't tell that. Put your detector over it, there might be some pound coins in there. <laughs> That's bizarre. That is really, really strange. Here's my favorite. Wait, is three coins a hoard? Or is it six? 
do five piece count. More kites, more kites, go on, 50p. Come on, Kate, I believe in you. This is definitely a hoard now. I need longer legs, look. How are you feeling, Kate? I'm feeling top of the world, Beth. What have you got, Polly? Look, look, I just turned the top over. It was resting right on the top. <gasps> Polly is on a roll. How many is that now, Polly? I'm not sure. Three or four? Three or four. So many, she's lost count. That is cool. Well done, Polly. Awesome! Oh, so, cool. <laughs> so Paul's had another little find up in your pole. Look at that. That's Love. a very special little buckle. That's a gorgeous one here. Yeah, trying to work out what age it is really. I mean it's very very flamboyant for the army. It is, isn't it? Yeah. But it's all complete. You don't want to get that out in one piece. Yeah, well, just over there is a bunker in that little fluffy, a little bit of overgrown bit. And um, right here, I've just dug this up, which looks like it's some sort of communication cable, which uh, is a pain in the ass. But I don't think I'll dig all that out near all day otherwise. <laughs> That's what it is. You're in a World War II field, you're going to find communication stuff. Well, good old Nathan has only found a silver coin today. He's found a little coin hoard. Well, I'm not saying coin hoard. It's a little coin spill, should I say. Oh, look at those beautiful pennies. 1920, 1913, and 1902. And you reckon this is all found in the same little area, yeah? Same, same hole, just over there. So I reckon probably uh, an officer or someone sat down and uh, a little coin spill. Yeah. That's awesome, no? Yeah, wicked. Like that. I just imagine, like, you know, someone taking a break, having a little seat there, come out of his bunker just there. Or bunker over there, they're everywhere around here. Had a little sit down, had his lunch, and left his beer money behind. <laughs> so, yeah, this is the coin. Look at that beautiful one florin. Oh, well, happy with that. 1922 that is so yeah it would have been here when the inception of the uh parent porth was was made strange little patina on that side we might be able to clean it up well i think it's george v but uh, i do love these designs it's got like the english three lions and the irish harp and i think the scottish lion there as well or the scottish something or other <laughs> uh but yeah beautifully designed coin well happy with a bit of chunky silver. Well guys, always pays to go and check your holes. I've got that lovely florin and I went over it again. There's another coin. I don't think it's a florin, but it looks like a nice penny. Come check it out. There we go. Oh, here's another florin. Oh, you beauty. I can't believe it. That's a half crown. Oh, hoo -hoo. Oh, get in. And again, look, the sides, that side's... Wow, man. And do you know what? There's a massive thunderstorm coming in now. I don't know if you can see that, but I might have to call it a day. I'm going to get absolutely tethered on. And also, I've got a detector in my hand and a big metal spade. So I'm just going to check this hole one more time, maybe do a little bit around here, because it could be a nice little coin spill, and then head off back to the caravan and have a nice drink and a bit of supper. Well, did you hear that? Uh, I think that's time to call it a day. <laughs> so this is where I'm staying, by the way. My little caravan. 
guys, go in and sit down. Huh? Rip what out? How does you how does how does time travel? How does how does news travel that quickly? Oh yeah, no, yeah, okay, you can open the box. Uh, I got two. I got a florid and I got a half crown. Right next to it. Really? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Look, mustard on it. Look, and the other side is 1922. Really, and the other side. Look how weird the other side is. Green. And the so same. That would have been the side that would. Have and the up, same with that one. Look, green, silver, green. Yeah, I'm well happy. I think. Yeah. I think it's definitely a little coin spill. Yeah, and just same as it started to. Well. Same what? Both got same dates. 1922, oh. 1922. Yeah. You might even find. <laughs> you hate, you hate that. That's a beautiful. Yeah, let's get inside. Sit down. Take a seat. Well, good old Nick's done it again. <laughs> Oh, look at that lovely big half crown from 1940. I think it's either 46 or 48. Yeah, it looks like 48. Yeah. Nice one. Uh, George VI. Yeah. Oh, clean up well, wouldn't it? Yeah, it should do. Nice one. That's, a coin. That's, That's it, mate. Yeah, banging signal. Oh, wicked. Yeah, like you say, I think that was the base of a base of a mortar round. Yeah. And it's got it's got a date on as well. 40. Is that 40? Yeah, there, look. A little date there, 40. Oh, yeah, look, a number, a number 36 or something like that. Or 56. Yeah, that's nice. Find out a bit more about that. Oh, and you've got a nice Spitfire one as well. Has that got a date on? 1941. Oh, lovely. It's not. It's nice when you find them when they've got the dates on. Yeah, and a little broad arrow. I mean, yeah, that was, that was literally being either loaded into a Spitfire or fired from one. Yeah. That's awesome. Well done, Nathan. Thank you. <laughs> Look at that. And do you know what? I bet that is from the war. They did used to, you watch all these war films and they're all playing bowls, aren't they, next to the Spitfire? It's quite rusty, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, no, it's a beauty. Yeah. Thanks. Did you find the rest of them or just the one? Just the one. Probably from a plane. I'm not sure if it's a Spitfire, but obviously a mechanic replaced these, you know. Well, here we've got Sam and George having a great old time detecting. How you getting on, George? Having a good yeah. time? Yeah. What you got then? What you found? Uh, we found four 3D bullet cases, I think. Oh, they're, they're actually yeah, 303s, aren't they? They probably have got the date on underneath. If you take it home and clean them and look on there, there will probably be a date on as well. So it'll probably say 1940 to 1945, generally. So that's really good. They're amazing finds, you know. And those things, what do you think they are? Uh, I think they are gaskets. like gaskets from yes. a Spitfire or another plane. I reckon so. Yeah, I you're right. I mean, we're no expert really on the finer inside, you know, <laughs> not sure cabins of an engine on the Spitfire, yeah, but they, yeah. you know, never say never. It could very well be. I'm sure yeah, there's yeah. an expert out there that might know. But um, yeah, that's really cool. The detectors are working really well. Okay. Dad, I think I found something written on here. It says four six. Oh yeah, so you have. And there's another little find there. George's had. And it's got in there four six. Well, that's not forty six. That's an interesting little thing, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's cool. I don't know whether that's been like clipped or something or. 46, yeah, it's got the date there, hasn't it? Yeah, it's like one of those little throwing knives. Yeah. <laughs> so you got your detector from LP Metal Detecting, so L I hear? Yeah, LP Metal Detecting, <laughs> waterproof. Good little, good little, yeah, uh, little device, detecting, it? it's got like three different settings. So it, t it tells you, you know, the quality of the, the metal, yeah. Pretty good, yeah? Yeah, it is, it's decent. Pretty and uh, it's lightweight as well, which is nice as well yeah, for the kids. Size. If you want in a Knox next, you know that you've got to save up for when he gets a bit older, save up for uh, uh, the next grade up. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like that's that one. <laughs> oh, yeah, like that puppy, yeah. So, if he, <laughs> yeah, he might take it up as a full time hobby. Well you've got some amazing little finds there. Are you going to keep on going or are you going to call it a day? Keep on melting. And then we'll go. Keep on melting. Where, where do you reckon? <laughs>
This is the World War II night shelter. Going exploring, I'll show you what we can find. Look, World War II fire hose. It's pretty mad, isn't it? I want to roll that out. <laughs> Aha. This was full of bunks, apparently. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, it's not. Oh, this is like you get like an old drum. You put that in the drum and then you connect the other end right there. Let's see that. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> that one's grease, look. So, but I, I would imagine that's World War II. You reckon? Yeah. So, look, that would have gone in that old grease drum. You can even see them grease drums no more. Oh, there's a bit. No, it's not. No, it's an old, uh, it's an old trolley, look. So that, that could be the, the period, so to speak. No doubt. Looks a bit far seat, is it? I was just thinking this something might have a maker's mark on the bottom or something. This is big. What's this? This is what a boot out for. Hmm. There's a massive leaf spring there, I think. Look, see that? A pair of leaf springs. Steve, old oil can, yeah? Door open! A petrol can. Oh, hello. Yeah, mate. 50 cows and that, yeah. A lot of smaller bullets. Yeah. And uh, I missed that nice token <laughs> by about two metres. Oh, I'm really? Sorry, yeah, <laughs> sorry. I think that was the last one for today, anyway. <laughs> what kind of a signal was it, sir? Are you comfortable in there in the... Uh... I might have to turn the heating up in a minute. I wish you'd hurry up and dig that. I want to close the window. <laughs> well, just dug up this little stud thing. It's quite interesting. I think it might be, maybe, I don't know. I'm not sure what sort of stud it is. Off of a uniform, perhaps? Uh, I'm not an expert, but it looks quite old. And I wonder if there's anything on it. I don't know if I can see a pair of wings at the top there. I don't know. Maybe it's more living in hope but uh ah well maybe they're just standard i don't know if you can collar stud or something like that maybe there would have been a button on top of it but it does look like there is something on there but maybe there's just corrosion so remember there wasn't just the uh, british personnel there was um french czech and polish uh, as well so maybe it was uh part of their uniform if you uh, think you know please comment below cool fine though happy with that well, we've got a little coin in the hole. There we go. And I'm right next to a bunker, which is just over there, which we explored earlier. I reckon it could be a nice little shilling. Let's give it a quick wash and I'll tell you what it is. Well, there we go, semi-cleaned. It is a 1921 shilling. Awesome. Good old George V. That's a nice one. That's my third silver. I got my hat trick of silver. Get in. <laughs> So on the airfield we have multiple mine shafts. The airfield was also part of World War II. Uh, there's actually, so if you see the water, I don't know if you can see that, but back when they flew airplanes here, they would actually throw off. Can you stop? I'm trying to feel something. So uh, this is a war place and this, this has war stuff in it and you can find really cool things here and Riley ruined the last clip and I don't know how to delete the clips so hi Simon if you see this. We have Otis, Otis Brighton. Uh, 
think he's found something. <laughs> Otis also repping the Hovercraft History Hunters merch. Okay. Let's see that. Yep. Nice. Wish man. I had one of those. Look, I just got a grey jumper. It's my new favourite hoodie. Get it. So Otis has a reading signal. A signal. I'm gonna try and find something. I know it's around here somewhere. Could be a bullet, could be people found cufflinks. I love cufflinks here, so could be How's it going, guys? Got, Good. got a little signal. Oh. Oh. Oh! Oh! oh. <laughs> We have found, looks like a bullock casing. It's got a date on it. Got a little date, ooh. I see the 40, I can't, I assume it's 1940. 1940 bullet. Oh, yeah. And we found this right next to, how do you call it? How do you feel? I feel like a hero. Is that the best thing you've ever found? Yes, yeah, probably. This is revolutionary. It is. Well, this is one of the last signals of the day. Let's listen to this one. That's a lovely little ringer. Right, I'll come back to you when it's out. Well, that's not bad. Little buckle. That's quite sweet. Obviously, military's got to be right. It's right next to the officer's uh, house. That's really cool. I like that. I know for a fact it's World War II. It's even got some of the um, leather still attached to it. How cool is that? And with the pinning as well. You got the fifth and final token of the weekend. Oh, Congratulations. Right. Thank well, you. You get a fines pouch. So oh, right. come and see me at the end of the day. And, I, uh, I've got to go in a minute because it's Father's Day. My kids have rung up and said, well, Dad, where are you? The party's on. Oh, no. The party's on. Yeah. You found that's really cool it. It. And this is all cordite. Yeah, it is. Wow. I, I stopped digging it. Really? I mean, every every two paces. Uh, <laughs> I actually notched it out. <laughs> that's awesome. The oh. percussion caps are still in, intact. That's awesome. Don't Don't well, that's as close as we got to real live uh, ordinance well, this weekend. Live so, uh, yeah, so. Do you want them in the pink buckets? I will take them off, yeah. Yeah, please. <laughs> <laughs> well, there we go, you've got some Spitfire ones as well. Yeah. Spitfire ends. They're 50s, aren't they? 50 cows, yeah, yeah. really cool. I'm yet to find one this, uh, really? I don't know why, they're just yeah. eluding me. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, been a very, been a good day. Yeah. Been a good oh, day. Oh, jeez, man, I know you've only been short and sweet, but I'm glad yeah, you enjoyed I, it. I'm, yeah, I'd better get back and keep, this, keep, keep, this, keep the kids happy. So, uh, Steve's taking me to this very interesting big crater in on the site and uh, we didn't know what it was but we've had done some... now we do now we do yeah it turns out that it's probably a firing range because you can about the signals you get here are absolutely unbelievable we found evidence of uh, lots of exploded shells <laughs> Paul's got a little find he's going to share. Oh, it's a face. It's, 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 a, it's something it? dodgy, yeah. <laughs> it's like it's got a Britannia both sides, but it's back to front. If you read the right, and look, you've got half written backwards. Oh, yeah. Maybe it's a bit, a bit oh, of a token been, or something. Someone was messing around with a bit of lead. Melted and, uh, yeah, stuck to a coin. That's interesting, isn't it? Really strange. How cool is that? It's got... <laughs> They've probably got a date on there at the bottom, isn't it? Yeah, whatever coin they tried to copy. Little key, that. That was alright. Oh, that's sweet. It's a nice one. Yeah. Well, someone else found a padlock, so it might even fit. Nothing like that, though. Penny. Oh, nice. He done all right. Oh, 
buttons, yeah. Two buttons. Oh, you got an RF one? No, you got that's a livery button. And, yeah, yeah. I, think I, was the first one I thought I found an RF button earlier, but it won't. It's complete. Oh, that's a uh, uh, general service. Yeah, baby. Oh, there we go. We're getting some military buttons up. I'm happy about that. Piece of shrapnel by the looks of it. Oh, yeah. A bit on yeah, a little time infuse. Prize find. <laughs> you got your, <laughs> your little token. <laughs> yeah. A little bit of uh, I don't know what that is. Looks oh, like a that's early. Thing. That's a, that's a, yeah. That's, a, that's, that's probably one of the earliest. That's, that's quite early, isn't it? Yeah. And your spoon. Yeah, yeah, you've done very well. You yeah. was giving it some, though, weren't you? Is that quite a lot? Yeah. yeah. He hasn't been messing about, has he? <laughs> no. I've got tons of 303s, a little lid off of something. Yeah, a little teapot or something, yeah. yeah. Which is? I'll put our glasses if anyone needs it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Steve could use them. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's cool. Should we clean up a little bit there? Yeah. Do you want to have a date at the bottom or something? I don't know, maybe. Lubricating. Yeah, you'll have to clean it up. Send me some pictures when you do. He does say Tottenham. Hey, good old Tottenham. <laughs> yeah, he's interesting. Yeah, I'll face some of, you know. Serial number, it says serial in it. So oh, yeah. So, Paul found out that this plaque by JA Presswick Industries came from a JAP motorcycle. These small engines were also used in the first ever all British triplane designed by Elliot Verdon Rowe in 1909. So it's exciting to think that these pioneering planes might have flown from this very site. What a great piece of history. Well done, Paul. What a beauty you had there. <laughs> what is it? Tell us what it is. 20 mil. Has it got uh, any markings on the base? Yeah. Can Beautiful. you see? Can you see now? No. I can see a little bit there, yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. But they gave a good signal, right? Okay. <laughs> Fantastic, well done. I've, I've never found one of those yet, it's still eluding me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But that's, uh, that's pucker, that's really good. That's a good one, isn't it? Yeah, you just won, no, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, you've just won Shell of the... You've won yeah. Shell of the uh, Shell of the Weekend. Shell of the Weekend. Yeah, that's, that's awesome. I've found well a lot done. of plenty of flare, flare bits, but... Exactly. And how long have you been detecting? Me? Yeah. Oh, I thought you were going to say you were a newbie and it's like, it was my first time, about no. 20 years. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> she hasn't just broken it, honest. No, that was a... They do crumble, so I yeah. to... I had one that came out. I still got to polish years, it. But... Yeah, polish That's it. That's a nice yeah. one. Yeah, cool well done. Yeah, I like that one. There's one piece, but never mind. So this is Zach's finds. Lovely load of 303s. From Alton Alley. Could possibly be from a Spitfire or something, or another plane that maybe have crashed. I yeah. Well done, young man. <laughs> I found a bullet that appears to have um, some cloth in it. I thought it was uh, some ordnance, but yeah. yeah. Yeah, it looks like it's cloth. And uh, well, there's always a chance it could be something interesting reading on the cloth. Could it be a little map or some codes or I don't know. Who knows what it is? Put them in the garage and they exploded. Oh, it's coming. And they flew out in the middle. Yeah. Uh, she's woke, I woke up one morning, she's a big bang last night in the garage. Look at them. On the end of it, I can unwrap it. Mm. Mm. It's also too, it's not the same, right size as um, 7.62, is it? No, no, no. There you go, what do you reckon different. it is, Pete? Is that, is that what you were saying? Is that the right? Oh, no. That's different, isn't it? That's totally different. Absolutely no I've idea. I've never seen a bullet with that, like that in it. No. That's strange. Absolutely no idea. Normally it's material like that, but the red lines is where you tear it. I think that you'll find that's probably paper. But the cleaning um, cloth, if it's a creamy colour, yeah, and mm. two inches apart, right. you've got a red line where you, you tear it off. Oh, right, it's not been fired either, is it? So. Oh. Well, if you know, no. comment below. Yeah. <laughs> it's a mystery. That's intrigued me. Oh, wow. Uh, no, I'm nully, I think. <laughs> a handful of lives. <laughs>
have to, uh, you, you, what do you do with him? <laughs> Run to the cliff and jump, throw him over. <laughs> throw him on your ordnance <laughs> part of it. <laughs> yeah, we've got an ordnance part. We're having a firework party now, aren't we? Uh, closing <laughs> ceremony. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I don't know what that is. It's a little cup. Yeah, it's a cup, it, yeah. Is it a cup? It's really heavy. How is it? I just thought it was probably a bit of a machine. You don't have to So you can even choose. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I think that's quite impressive. It is quite impressive. What's that? Oh, we think this is a part. The plough. Oh, and yeah, the plow, yeah. And yeah. we think we think this is a part of a bomb. Possibly. Possibly. Yeah. Oh, it could be, couldn't it? To show you see how heavy it is. Yeah. yeah. Well, there we go. Looks like an axe, but it's, it's oh, definitely that's a plough, isn't it? Plough too. Yeah. 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 I think, think this is. Yeah. yeah. Quite a circle, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. There you go. Well done, young man. It's uh, part of a bomb. That might be a German. <laughs> it could be a German one, which would be interesting. Yeah. And so here we come to find of the weekend. All right. Find of the weekend. Silver RAF coupling. That's uh, gorgeous. That's my coat. And winner is. We found a very wind burn. Well done, Nick. Nick. <laughs> you very look happy. A bit red. <laughs> and, uh, well done, Nick. You win a metal detector yep. simplex supplied by LP. Thank you very well much, done, boys, and thanks for Give me a clap, everyone. Well done. <laughs> thanks to LP for donating the. Uh, there you go. And you can be find you find all metal in the field in all and on the beach. I wouldn't go in the park. <laughs> next time you come up. There we go. Thanks for a great weekend, guys. Oh, your pleasure. Our pleasure. I must say those hoodies look. Those hoodies do look superb. You can make your child look extremely smart with a hovercraft history hunter's hoodie. Can you turn around, show us the back. Oh, look at that. Look, look. He looks superb. Well, there we go, mud lovers. What a fantastic weekend. We're all knackered. I'm going to take a long drive home. Steve, how far do you live? Ten minutes. It's going to take me. It's going to take me a good two minutes, I reckon, to go oh, home. I don't envy. Well, I do envy you. You don't envy me. But we've had a great time. Subscribe. Like and subscribe. <laughs> you always get that wrong. I do. Subscribe and no, like it. Yeah, like and subscribe. Leave um, a comment. And we're going to be back. So if you like this one, if you want to be part of it, make sure. You stick around and look out for the updates because we're going to be coming back and doing more. And we've ordered some good weather for next time. Oh, thanks. Yeah, yeah. good stuff. All right, my lovers. See you, see you next time on the next mod venture. Bye. So, a special thanks to Kev, the owner of the airfield, for allowing us to metal detect, and all the staff at the airfield for being so welcoming, especially Carol. There's Carol. Say hello, Carol. Hi. Thanks to Steve for coming up with the idea and filming everything the wrong way round. So, well, Dad, where are you? Is the party's on? Oh, no. The I party's on. Yeah. You found that's really cool, do Thanks to Andrew for the drone footage, bacon rolls and beers. Thanks to Beth for the mud lover bracelets she made and gave out and for filming Kate's coin hoard. Thanks to Steve's better half, Carly, on security and a wonderful mother to all of her children. Say hi, Ruby. There's all this is going to be of you, Lara. Oh. <laughs> and thanks to everyone who came. See you all on the 24th and 25th of September, and let's do it all again. And if you want to come next time, click the link in the video description for more details.